What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a gameplay with what is probably the least hyped of every one of the Legacy Showcase rewards, and that's Maurice Lucas. So, I've used this card a little bit in shoot around, and I'm honestly going to say that this card is not as bad as a lot of people are saying, and I'm going to be doing something that I don't do a lot, and it's Defend 2k. While a lot of people are complaining about Legacy Showcase packs, and a lot of people are saying, oh, why are we getting Legacy Showcase? A lot of the time, it's because these guys are names you guys don't know of. Like, if you guys look at the Legacy Showcase players, like, uh, this is my actual active lineup. If you guys actually look at Legacy Showcase, so, premium. In Series 2, I obviously, I don't think Mark Price, Maurice Lucas, or Thurman are the be-all and end-all cards. I don't. But I think of these cards here, you've got Steve Smith, who's way better than Devin Booker. You've got Tony Allen, who's an insane budget card. You've got Marquise Johnson, who's good. And you've got Jeff uh, Petrie, who's really, really good. So, more 50% of these cards are really solid cards. Legacy Series 1, you've got Mike, who still to this day is one of the best centers in the game. And then, of all these cards here, you've got Nick Anderson, one of the best budget cards in the game. You've got Luke Walton, again, one of the best budget cards in the game. Rick Smith's one of the best centers in the game. Dimjanovic is good. You've got Lob Cheese and Purvis Short. Jerry Sloan. Is actually a really, really nice card. Really good release. Um, and a bunch of Evo cards here. Xavier McDaniel, still a god. You got Jojo, the man, the myth, the leaner. Lou Hudson. And these guys are good. And a lot of people were complaining that there was no prime packs. Sure, Duncan and Wilt are great. Stockton's nothing spectacular. And if you look at these cards here. Like, Paul George, great. T. Ross was a Ruby Evo card. And then apart from the two of these. And Kevin Love, maybe. John Wall, maybe. None of these guys are great. Like, Leitner's good. These guys in the bottom, none of them are great. Robinson's decent, Ross is decent, and Wall's good. None of the others are great. Bowen's good, only when he's Evo, it's really hard to do. And while, sure, Prime VIP might be a little bit better than Legacy Showcase, it's not much better. The Prime packs are barely better than Legacy Showcase. And the difference is, is that if you guys do want to open packs, like I wouldn't ever suggest it, they're also half the price. The like Prime packs are 12k, Legacy Showcase packs are 6k, so... As much as people like to complain about likes showcase packs, we are getting a lot of decent players out of them. So anyway, the team we're running in this game is Jeff Petrie, the one who, if you guys watched my last, just watch my last video. You guys want to see how good he is. You got Micah Red too. Red is a beast after he got upgraded to quick draw. Or quick upgrade to go quick draw. We got Luke at the three. Kevin Durant at the four and Maurice Luke's the five. The bench, we've got Dame Lillard, Terrence Ross, Paul George, Yanis, and... The friends and then last three off the bench we have got gilbert arenas lebron james and tim duncan so maurice lucas has got 95 offense 98 defense overall he's six foot nine so he is a not a little bit he's a lot undersized so i'm gonna swap this up and put is there a taller guy coming out small i don't know i'll be fine around him at center i don't know why i thought he was six foot eleven um he's got four all of fame badges post move lockdown intimidator moving truck and rim protector he's got 23 gold badges including gold quick draw which is good gold box gold defensive leader so he might be all right during the center he's got a 73 three-point shot 81 mid-range post hook and fadeaway are both really good driving dunk is decent he's got um a really decent block he's got a good steal he's got really good interior defense not great perimeter defense moderately fast okay a lot of quickness and yeah he should just be a really just solid guy i don't think it'll be spectacular but i think he will be absolutely solid so anyway, now it's got the hot zones and release for Lucas. Then we're going to get on to the game. So Maurice Lucas has got hot zones everywhere inside the three. He's one of those players that he definitely does look bigger than six foot nine, and he's also um, got one hot spot up the top at outside the three. Release is definitely fast. So like if he gets in the catch and shoot situation, he's going to hit a decent percentage of shots. And also he's not even that he's going to hit them; he's going to get them off. Like teams are not going to be able to leave him open because he does have quite a decent release and quite a quick release as well. So. Should be good. Let's see if hook and fade away. Okay, he takes a lot of time to get into that fade away, which is not ideal. And going this way as well. Yeah, it takes a bit of time to get in, but it is fairly easy to time, so not the biggest deal in the world. Back him down. Okay, making layups. It's fine. Alright, he's not doesn't seem too bad anyway like just animations wise the hook and fade away but we'll see more in the game and yeah he should still be a decent stretch five to use should be okay on defense we'll get out rebounded i think even though his rebounding stats are great just because of his height 
but he might be a decent card. So anyway, now just green on three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against Steve Francis, Dominique Wilkins. Oh, we're playing backs. Um, yeah, hopefully we, sh we can get the win in this game here. This guy's not a terrible player. Um, but it'll be a tough game. This guy's... Last time I played this guy, he beat me, but I'm pretty sure I was playing a pack and play against him. Um, but this will be interesting. And actually, Dominique Wilkins, I was about to say, he's not the best card in the world, but he's actually gotten way, way better over the past uh, 24 hours because of, obviously, what has happened with the quick draw players. Give it into him. That is a... Come on! You gotta not get blocked there. Okay, that's good defense. And that's a travel. That's a big-time travel. Okay, it's attack. Bit of basket, Maurice Lucas. Makes a layup. Good job. Don't leave him there. That's just horrendous defense by me. Like, I don't need to double Giannis. There's never any point doubling Giannis. Giannis is about predicting what he's going to do. And how did I step out of bounds there? I didn't even use my analog stick. I pressed my, him to go, like, literally. I was moving, tried to get him back towards the middle, and he just warped out of bounds. Sometimes, it's time that I just, I'm frustrated with 2k, and that's definitely one of them. Good pass right in there to Kevin Durant. And I don't know what the hell that was. Great rebound there by Maurice Lucas. Goes right in and puts in the layup. There we go. Four points, two boards for him. It's not a bad start at all. Bang, bang. Green from Jeff Petrie. Let's go. He is a fantastic, fantastic card. Again, he's he was the title of a No Money Spent Squad video, which means I must rate him high. Oh, we got unlucky there. I read the pass. I knew the pass coming. And... Unfortunately, I was just in the wrong position to get steal. Let's take it handy. That's attack hard. Not guarding that properly. And that is an and one there by Jeff Petrie. Let's go. He's been doing he's been carrying us so far in this game here. As we go and take our first lead. Unfortunately, the update happened today on PC, so you can't sub in the bench, which is really annoying. I was a lot happier before the update happened. Good position. Try to lob and good dunk there by Maurice Lucas. Come on, stop hanging on the ring. Get back in defense. That's a terrible shot. That's Can 2K stop rewarding people for like very, very late or very, very early mid-range shots that go in at a really high rate? And they should never go in. Like a release that bad, no matter where it is, shouldn't go in. Like players do miss shots from close. And if you complete, like obviously they're much higher percentage, but if you completely mess up a release, no matter where you are, it shouldn't go in. Lillard to the basket. Easy layup by him, giving us the lead again. Let's go Lillard and see where they bring the help from. Off Paul George. In the corner for three. Full white glitch. Off. Ah, uh, the usual. When you see the bar like that, with a really high rate of shooter, you know it's off every time. When you know it really should be a green and it's not, you know that's 2K's way of telling you, yeah, it should be a green, but we've decided that we don't want you to make this many shots, so you're going to miss this one here. Let's deal there by Michael Red. And they get it right back on the camera turn. And of course, of course, I... Oh, man, the camera turn steals are actually such a frustrating thing about this game. It's open. And that's off, isn't it? Yeah, and good board there by Lucas. One more. No, it's Giannis. Oh, my God. I keep forgetting that I don't have range of center players on the floor. Got to give that one up. That's a terrible release. Okay, we're good. Defense, lads. Two of us standing around and we can't get the rebound. Come on, like, why is it that when I run with, uh, when I run with Amari Stadamar, he gets destroyed for rebounds every single time. When anyone else runs with him, he cleans up. Three ball, green. Big shot there by Arenas to make it a two point game. Let's go, Maurice Lucas has just been solid. Like, he's done, he hasn't done much wrong, but he, the way he plays, he's not really able to do much great. Wrong button. Corner three. Green. Big shot there by, um, what's his name? Micah Red. Good defense. Great defense there, Maurice Lucas. One more. The Doncic in the corner. Great ball moving, lads. And that's another green shot to give us the four-point lead. Wait. Oh, that is nice. Obviously, there are some things that Hope Only can do that other players can't. 
definitely one of them. Leave a shooter open in the corner for three. And it's another green three from Michael Red. Reese Lucas has gotten a straight line to the basket. KD in the corner for three. And he hits it. We are lighting him up right now. Let's go. It's wide open. Oh, that was a weird, weird type of shot that I took, but it went in. Jeff, P or Jeff Petrie with his seventh point of the game. I don't know what the hell happened there. Come off the screen. Use it. Also the lob. Go get it. Duncan, don't miss the layup. Or oh, the dunk. Oh my God, Duncan has made two horrendous plays in a row. Good defense, LeBron. Someone's going to be open. Someone's going to be open. And it's Duncan who I don't trust with anything right now. I do not trust Duncan with a wide open layup. Good job. He got he forced someone off Terrence Ross, who hits the three. That is open, and that's green by Jeff Petrie. There you go. He's come up huge in this game. Ten points for him. Pick and roll. Connect. It's open. And I'll to fake. That's a three from Jeff Petrie. Rather not be him in the pick and roll. Toss it up to LeBron. Who gets the dunk? We go. Jeff Petrie. It's his game. It's Jeff Petrie's world, and we're all just living in it right now. Easy steal for LeBron. Terrence Ross. Paul George in the corner for three. It's it. They left him open. Wide open. Not a great release, but he hits a big, big three-pointer there from Reese Lucas. He hasn't done much scoring since um, in the second half, but it was a huge shot there. Luka Doncic is my help man right now. He's again, I'm good with that. Like, I'm good with him just dumping in Indiana's against scores. He doesn't have enough time to come back in this game scoring twos. To the basket, we got a lane, and Gilbert Arenas gets the dunk. Okay, he's come up huge there. Protect the basket. Protect the basket now. That's a, that's a terrible shot. Good board. Score here in its game. That is open. And Luca. I don't know what's wrong with me and shooting with Luca in this game, but I can't hit a shot. Get him already. Get him already. Good stand. Hall of Fame Tim and Air coming in clutch there. One of the best shooters in the game. In the corner for three. Green. That's what Michael Red's in there for. Okay. Coast to coast, Maurice Lucas gets the dunk. Let's go. He definitely was not expecting that to be coming. And Maurice Lucas straight away nearly gets a strip. Toss it up. And Maurice Lucas with another dunk. So 15 and 10 for him. Not the best scoring performance, but he's actually not bad. He is not bad in the slightest in this game. He's not, like, he's not spectacular or anything. There are better players in the game, but he's not a bad card. And not even close to being considered a bad card. All right, good defense. There we go. Let's go right to the basket. Nah. Give it to the three, but off of the two. Damn, I thought he was going to get it open for three. He decided to curl right into the defender, but it's 2K. Expect him to make the dumbest player possession. And that is off. And good board. Jeff Petrie. Okay, hit Luca. Pick and roll. We're fine. He's in a really good position right there. Easy dunk. Up step. Dunk. There's no one there. I don't know why I went for the extra up step. But uh, two points is two points. And a really comfortable win here against a guy who the last time I played him beat me. 25 point win there. So in the end, Maurice Lucas, 8 of 10 from the field. 19 points, 13 rebounds, 2 assists. And was plus 21 on the floor. Jeff Petrie, 13 points, um, 5 of 8 from the field, 2 of 4 from 3, plus 21 as well, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. Arena's at 11, Michael Red, 3 of 4 from 3, he's there for a reason. LeBron James, 6, Paul George, 5, Lillard, 4, Dodgers, 3, KD, 3, Terrence Ross, 3, Duncan, 2, Duncan was terrible, I felt when he was on the floor, but he was plus 11, Giannis, 2, minus 3, the friends with none and minus 7 when he was on the floor, so not a great showing from him. So anyway, that is the video. Maurice Lucas, like, I'm not going to go out and say, oh, this card is unbelievable. This card's unbelievable. He is not bad. Like, he actually did a really good job rebounding. He cleaned up. He did a really good job in defense there. He shot the ball relatively well. He didn't make any mistakes. He is solid. He's not going to be a card that you're going to go out of your way to get. But, like, he's solid. If you're comparing him to other centers, he's better than Bill Walton. 
He's not as good as Wilt, but a different player to Wilt, though. Um, he's better than Nate Thurmond, another legacy player. I think he's better than Matomo for my play style. He's way better than Anthony Davis. Better than Willis Reed. He's probably similar to David Robinson, I guess. Um, I don't know who Joe Barry Carroll is. And then if you're looking at power forwards, like, where you can also play... I get Kevin Love's better, but I think he's better than Leitner. He's probably as good, if not better, than Kevin McHale. Like, he's right up there in both of those. Especially the power forward position, he's right up there at the best of them. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.